Ryan Kiesel. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Mayor and honorable members of the council. Uh, Ryan Kiesel, 1011 West Wrangler Boulevard, Seminole, Oklahoma. I'm here speaking on behalf of the ACLU and its many members in the Oklahoma City area as its executive director. Uh, I'd like to begin first by responding in part to what Councilman Kelly had said with regard to protections embodied in the Constitution. And in particular, the Civil War amendments that were passed immediately following the Civil War. But many scholars, and in particular constitutional scholars, realize that those amendments and their full promise weren't realized, and I would argue that they're still not fully realized, but weren't realized until nearly a century later when the Civil Rights Acts were passed. And I would say that this constitutionally organized body here has that same prerogative to pass laws to help rights and the liberties that we all anticipate be more fully realized by everyone. And I'd like to, you know, if we could just jump up to 10,000 feet and look down at the arguments that are being put out against this, because I think Councilman Shadid did a terrific job of saying why we should pass this, why our corporate partners have this in their policies. But look at the arguments against this. And the argument against it is essentially this. Please, City Council, don't take away the right of one city employee to discriminate against another city employee on a basis other than merit. That's what they're asking you to do. So we reject that proposition at the ACLU. We hope you, that you reject that proposition as well. There are concerns that there have been no reports of discrimination, and it's been learned through reporting and today that it's apparently the practice of the staff of the City Personnel Department to respond to reports of discrimination based upon sexual orientation. We applaud them for that. But without formal protections in place, the current practice could be dismissed without a vote by this council. Without formal protections in place, employees are left to wonder as to the consequences of coming forward. Would you rather that an employee endure the discrimination for fear of consequences of reporting it? This morning, this council can end that environment of fear and intimidation. And let us not lose focus of what this resolution does. It simply says that an employee of this great city cannot be hired, fired, retaliated against, or otherwise be the subject of discrimination because of whom they are. It offers a measure of protection that is currently missing for Oklahomans who are dedicated to this city. It is a resolution that prejudices no one except those who would be prejudicial. And we ask you to strongly support this resolution as we do. Thank you.